Hello everyone, my name is JBR and welcome to back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So we just were we just started the Android quest line, so we're going to save Goku. Not save him. Whatever. I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks? Let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. That's the point of the introduction. Hey, Chi Chi. Pleased to meet you. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine. Now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future? Oh, yeah. You're the one that beat the android, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh no, that's not good! Not good at all, Yamcha. Alright, it's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. There he is! Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in. Is Gohan not present for that fight with the androids? I thought he was. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giro tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, Seventeen. Alright, let's continue on. Ooh. Yeah, that's not that much experience. Oh, I love these load times. Siri on the Xbox Series X. We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Ah oh, man. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin. Krillin, you're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, oh, my future son, there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. West. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is... Yeah, it's definitely the time machine I came here in. 
But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> Of course. Thank you. Go on. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. Oh, uh, yeah. Because we never go anywhere dangerous. I think I have... Uh... Trunks? Yeah. I was wondering, is is the future? Very well. Later. Is Very well. Later. Thought I had completed some huh? training missions. Anything new? All right. Um, training. Is there any new? I think there's a new move or two I can unlock. Oh no! Oh wait, that's Gohan. Uh, level thirty-eight. Recommend level 30. Okay, I can handle that. Take the easy win if I can get it. Um, let's see. Go on. Anything new on your thing? Master Roshi gave me some items, I might as well use them quick. What are the developments? God, cooking, sea warrior. I guess just these guys do development, don't they? This development's pretty much maxed. This is not. Cooking. It's overkill, but so much. I feel like I have so many people at max for different things. Have any adventuring? Maybe I just need to slowly max everyone out. That's cooking level cap. These developments only three out of I 
I really just... well, at least get their friend level maxed. Doesn't need them. Alright, so Z Warrior. Developmental. I just, I want to stop at Goku's house once more because I was hoping I could get a meal here, but I couldn't. I wanted to get a meal before that, just to heal up my person. have to eat by a fire somewhere. She just makes it. I have to actually eat it from my menu. Why am I being dumb? Should be in this area. Let's start looking. Trunks, that's it over there, isn't it? Uh, that's a time machine, all right. I think that Bulma went to it without us. Hi, Bulma. Hey, you're both here. So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah. That's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What? Ew, what is it? I can't believe I, I touched that. I'm not sure. What's it doing in the time machine? This is some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. 
three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Uh, uh, so that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? Why did this thing come here? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku, and the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this... It's possible this thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Possible. Probable. Definitely uh, some way. What's that? What's what? Oh, it's just... I was wondering what that is. Ah, what on earth ah. is it? It's some sort of exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? Is it from some sort of mutant bug or something? I mean, you guys could probably have bugs that big. I bet. That's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then and then shed it. But how that did works. it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they came here carrying it. Uh, hey. Yeah. Then uh, we'd better hurry up and get out of here. You guys are going to be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. I... What's going on? So confused. The mysteries just keep piling up. Okay. Yeah, I did terrible in that one fight. We won't talk about that. Oh. Experience and items. Uh, Goku remains at Kami House. Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio Android Fiend from the future. That is a mouthful. I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. Hey, anything change here? And then I'd have to do it. Mission for the other one. So cooking, yes, he needs that. Um, development, no. Adventure, yes. Do you need development? No. Development. Oh, I could have should have done him. Oh, development's the one he needs the most. I hope you're ready for this, Kami. Just like to grab all the items. Memories? To receive permission from Corrin, Goku makes his way to Kami's lookout. When he arrives, he is greeted not by Kami, by his attendant, Mr. Popo. Mr. Popo tells Goku he will allow him to see Kami if he can best him in battle. 
who gladly accepts the challenge but quickly finds Mr. Popo is too much to handle. Hearing that Kami is even more powerful than Mr. Popo, Goku is delighted to learn that there are people far stronger than him and has to be trained. That sounds like... I didn't want to do come here. I want Kami. Yes, there's another one. I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. Were I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion, the resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? What do you mean? Wait. Is there something else at play? Something I don't know about? I see you, too, falter before this unknown potential for peril. But what I shall ask you once more, Piccolo, is now truly the time for this fusion. Should we not observe the situation a little longer? I just want to see, is what it really the exact wait? same thing? I see well, you. Yeah. I shall ask is now true. Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, the Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So? If we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. Is that what you already said? That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Oh. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, call me. I'm going to be the base. Got it. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details. Once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. Just like that. No more Kami. I thought we really should have sucked up more Namekians while we were on Namek. Farewell, Kami. Please, don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. All right, sure. Why not? Right. I'm off. Shenron mode. The other true Namekian fusion transformation is now available. But this is just Ginger. Piccolo. Let's get this memory. Yoku was able to defeat Demon King Piccolo in battle, but Shenron is still gone. In order to bring back Krillin and the others slaughtered by the Demon King, Goku first needs to revive Shenron. 
Ace's way to call me, the creator of the Dragon Balls, hoping something can be done. Kami resides far above Korin Tower and will only see those who have been given permission by Korin and brought his bell. Bell in hand, Goku uses the power pole to reach Kami's lookout. Alright, I think I looked at those out of order. It feels weird to be reunited with my other half, but at the same time, more it kind of feels right. Hmm. Oh, back here. There aren't too many people left in or around Ginger Town. Damn that monster. Let's see. Just change any. Now I have to do training for the one. Is this my fusion? Yeah. You slowly lose here. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Actually, I do want to drop down to. No, we'll just head to the map. I was gonna drop and see corn, but we have things to do in Ginger Town. This thing is killing all these people. Who or what could it possibly be? So who is who is these people not from Earth? Oh. Oh, it's this couple. Hmm. Oh, Lord, where Let's could it be? See. I'm quite famished. Hey. What are you two doing huh? here? Oh. Look, I'll cut straight to the point. If you know what's good for you, you'll leave wow. this place. Do you happen to yep. be an earthling? Oh, my. We are green hmm. as well. You're just not worried, so I told you to get the hell out of here. You're just arrived on this planet. They're not exactly the same type, are they? Who the hell are you two anyway? I'm just tourists. Filthy rich tourists. Come here to taste some of the yeah. planet's delicacies. We're lucky we happen to meet you. Would you be willing to show us around? It's a monster in this area and I'm here to hunt down. That's it. That's what we've come here for. Yes. That's right. We would love to dine on that monster. Oh, wow. To eat it. Oh, don't you worry, please. <laughs> oh, my. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yep. Monster that can only be found at some of the rarest dinosaurs in existence. So its <laughs> tail is simply to die for. <laughs> I guess we'll go <laughs> looking for. Oh, <laughs> great deal! We must eat it. All right. So they want a dinosaur tail. Which, honestly, there's a good chance I have one on me. Give me a break, huh? Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Probably the central plains where we fought 19 and 20. Yep. Like, oh, it's actually in another area. That's surprising. But thankfully, these load times are basically nothing. You know, like, they were so bad before, like, I wouldn't. Travel here now. Ooh, it's like metal. The dinosaurs are kind of dumb. They don't. See how um disadvantage they are. Hmm. Looks like someone wants to die. If only I'd known about this freak sooner, I could have done so. Which one? This dinosaur? Uh, nothing happened. I'll make quick work of you. Oh, jeez. I can't move! Yeah. 
So it's full of I'm gonna be pissed. So that's all, huh? All right. Ah, oh, you asshole. Alright, this is working a lot better. What I needed to kill. Huh. All right, good. Oh, nice! Apparently, it's auto taking me back to where those people were. So that's helpful. Hey, Jar, Jar, proven to be a real pain. You remember that? <laughs> no, no, calm down. Come now. Talk of real people so angry. Give me a Shut break. Up. Freeze the force, soldier. Just one thing what? after another, isn't it? Did you say freeze the force? How do you know about hmm. the force? I've got enough pain in the ass to do so I'm just going to blow you away. You're just like level 20. God, weak. You prefer a freeze the force, soldier. Why'd you ever join? What? what? Wait, wait, I'm not a freeze the force, soldier anymore. What? <laughs> Giving up that life. Be a galactic travel guide. My name is Malone. Nice to meet you. Oh, oh it's a uh, perk for stars. People usually leave me alone. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> These people are annoying. Yeah, if it weren't for these two, I would have been blown. Hmm. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Hey, huh? <laughs> they just take the what, dinosaur yeah? so I can leave. Yes. Hey! Let's see. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you guys go to a different wow. planet. <laughs> that fancy ring looks powerful. I owe you. Bye. Whoa, now. <laughs> I'm leaving you people. You're annoying. Okay, so both items give God power or whatever. Proficiency. He needs a little... Nice, it's gold. Alright. Oh, finally got something worthwhile. I think that I can sell that earring. Alright, monster. You're in trouble. Alright, yeah, so there, there's no people here. Well, some clothes, some cars. Mm, a hideous bug. Decided to show your face, monster? <laughs> Since Goku's energy from this creature, and Vegeta and Frieza's too. What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. 
All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal, Demon King Piccolo. <gasps> How do you know my name? Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekian. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kind of glad you rid the town of all of its residents. And why is that? So I don't have to hold back. Because now I don't have to hold back. Cliched. Writing is cliched. Guess I'll do this the hard way. Just have to beat the answers out of you. <laughs> You're more than welcome to try. Uh, Steal my special beam cannon. Uh, show them how one's really done. Look at that. You're not nearly the terrifying monster I thought you were. Perfect form. Special beam cannon! Ah, shit. Special beam cannon! Special beam cannon! Are you attacking people to achieve your perfect form? Indeed. I turn their essence into metal. And that energy is longer. <laughs> the inevitable. Oh, no. Ah. God. Stop being a life sucking leech. Now the 143 health. Who used a time machine for this? Tell me. Send me here. Why that would be yours, truly. I came up with a plan in order to fit inside that time machine. All it took was for me to revert myself to join Egg. Special Ring Cannon! Nope, nope, nope. nope. God, I hate this stupid life suck. It was the worst thing in fighting Android 20. Frieza's energy. I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. <laughs> I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name. Cell. Dr. Giro created me in a lab on his computer. Typically I'm stunned. <laughs> Dr. Giro again? Long ago, Dr. Giro gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me. And Frieza. The ultimate android. How did he get Frieza's DNA? But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet. Using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by Dr. Giro. 
The computer already has enough cells to begin its research, but the process is slow, and it will take 24 years to complete. Impossible. We completely destroyed Dr. Giroux's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to that? Once I revert to an egg, I must bury myself underground for three years. There my form matures. I see. One final question. I have to know. Why here? Why this time period? Dr. Giroux's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before I achieve perfection. And those two life forms are Android 17 and 18. What? Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. So I used my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. But why this point in history? And Trunks that's when the had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. She changed it a year oh, to come earlier. I think I'm getting it now. Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future and program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form mm. of yours. Piccolo! You ever watched the anime Piccolo? <sighs> Drunks, what's he doing here? Ah, he used the time machine. How very clever of him. So, so this is the guy who attacked all those people in Ginger Town? He must be the thing that left the exoskeleton near the time machine. You got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash this bug. <sighs> now may not be the best time to battle. Coward. Very well, but know this. Android 17 and 18 will be mine. So <laughs> No! No! He got away! Damn, I can't get a trace on him. It's impressive because he has so many beings to trace. One of the huge power levels that showed up out of nowhere is gone now. I can't sense it. But the other one still remains. What, what, what is the meaning of this? Piccolo? Talk! What the hell happened here? Tien's apparently on his way here too. Once he arrives, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one thing first. <laughs> How did you increase your power so much in such a short period of time? It looks like he fused with Kami. That's all it took? What is it with all these low lives? <laughs> How dare they attempt to surpass the greatest Super Saiyan in the universe? I can't stand this anymore. Look what you've done, Kakarot. Looks like Tien's here. Good. Here's what's going on. Oh, I see. So, to prevent Cell from achieving his perfect form, we either need to find him and kill him, or we need to find Androids 17 and 18 and kill them. Those are our only options. If you ask me, our best bet is to take Cell out before he acquires too much power. I'm tired of all these pathetic tactics. I say we let him absorb the androids. <sighs> Tito with his... I don't care who I'm up against. I will destroy them. Don't be naive, Vegeta. We could barely handle 17 and 18 ourselves, and Cell's much more powerful than them. You dare underestimate my power? I'll become stronger. I swear I will. I will go beyond Super Saiyan. Beyond Super Saiyan? 
Is that even possible? Trunks, you're the only Saiyan here in this group. Hey, uh, why don't we just go back to the lab and destroy Cell before he's finished? Good idea. Let's do that. At the very least, we'll create an alternate future where Cell doesn't exist. All right. Krillin and Trunks will go on and head back to the lab. Me and Tien will continue searching around here for the time being. Right. Well, if we come up empty, we'll just head back to Kami House. We can check the news for clues. Check the news. All right. The clues. Let's go, Trunks. Thanks. Oh. Go beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching this. I'm going to be ending this episode here. I hope you're enjoying Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. If you are, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, because there's going to be some more episodes coming. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.